Okay, today I'm going to show you how to add uh, this type of contents automatically to your proposal or document or anything. Uh, so first of all, uh, this one was generated so I'm going to delete it in order to show you how to create it. So I have deleted it. So if you want to create a table of contents, or maybe before that, uh, you will see that uh, it is arranged in such a way that it has it has uh, headings, uh, headings, and others are have uh, below other headings. So these are these ones are called headings, like chapter one. There is introduction, problem statement, and objectives. We have another heading uh, be, be, be below start objectives like a general objective and specific objective so if we want to replicate this to create this uh, we go into headings so I'm going to delete this so that you see how it is created so go to home and this is where we find headings heading one two three so heading one means that main heading heading two is the one which is below heading one heading three is the one which is below heading two heading four is one which is below heading three and so on so before that uh, you were going to go to each chapter and you give uh, a heading so chapter one we shall give it as a heading one uh, chapter two below chapter one we have uh, introduction which is a heading two uh, we have a problem statement it also lines in heading two uh, we have a justification it is below heading two so don't worry these ones were are we are created but uh, it is the same thing so research question you can just you just click on it and select heading two heading two uh, start objective just click on it and select heading two you can highlight it or just click on it but clicking on it saves a lot of time so below start objectives we have general objective and specific objective those go in those are under this heading two so it makes them go into heading three so you go into heading three even specific objective is in heading three so then we go to chapter two which is uh, chapter three or oh, chapter three which is a uh, heading one because it's a fresh chapter so it's a heading one so and those are the methods and they are in heading one so it, that's what is in chapter three so we have study design it's under heading one it makes it heading two so that's how we create headings so after creating all these headings, you go uh, to your where you want to put your table of contents. So the title of table of contents is a heading one. So you click below that. Then you go to references, select table of contents, then automatically generate one. It will generate automatically. If you go back and uh, and you want to you change something you just come here and update you can update numbers only or you can update the entire table it will update automatically that's how we generate a table of contents automatically next time we shall see how to add these numbers uh, like uh, numerals and then uh, numbers thank you very much